What's up, guys? Iceman here. Wake up! To the Diablo Research Institution. Appreciate you guys for coming by. Like this damn video, if you will. Subscribe to the page and the bell so you're notified next time I post a video. And blessings to my channel members and patrons. Links in the description below. So, I made another item, okay? And this one, I think, is kind of interesting. You see, Diablo 2 Resurrected, I think, is in need of perhaps a few changes to some of the items. If you've played Project Diablo 2, you've seen this come to fruition, where they've enhanced a lot of the useless uniques, and even rune words for that matter, and things like that. So what I did is I took a bow that nobody gives a shit about, all right? A bow by the name of Stormstrike. And I made it elite. And what I would do if it could be had my way is I would make this thing rare as a freaking toad. Like rarer than Wind Force. Maybe like twice as rare as Wind Force or something because the stats are quite powerful, all right? But even still, it doesn't compete with a lot of the endgame builds that already exist anyway. So it doesn't really matter. But I'm just saying it's a bit powerful. And uh, what I would also do is I would probably make this Amazon only. I should have made this in a matriarchal bowl or something. Because in that case, you couldn't exploit the stats that it offers by like putting it on a sorceress, for example, and just boosting up Lightning Mastery and Thunderstorm uh, synergies and all that crap. But basically what we have here is Storm Strike. And I put it in a Ward Bow, all right? And I gave it some enhanced damage. So the damage, as you can see here, it's nothing very impressive at all. It does 90 to 238 damage because I gave it 350% enhanced damage, which doesn't count for much because the damage is ass anyway. But it has a level 8 Holy Shock Aura when equipped. Now, of course, I would make it higher, but I couldn't for some reason. So, in order to boost it up, I had to give it Lightning Mastery. And as you can see here, in this case, this bow gives plus 20 to Lightning Mastery. And plus 44 to Thunderstorm. So basically, you're like the female version of Thor or some shit when you're wielding this bow. And even still, the Thunderstorm damage isn't all that impressive. Check this out. Thunderstorm at level 50 with my gear on and with a level 20 Lightning Mastery only does 2,800 damage max per strike. And unfortunately, uh, that's just not a lot. Because I'll show you even in the Cold Plains how it probably, for the most part, can't kill a basic Fallen. Oh, there we go. Oh, oh! Get him. All right, so it can kill a Fallen. Uh, it's quite impressive. And it killed the Shaman in about two strikes. Uh, this women's immune to lightning. So check this out. Here, here it is going after the Gargantuan. Uh, took a couple strikes, I think, uh, in theory, to kill him. There's the Fallen. See, at least it does something. I mean, it doesn't strike all that frequently. But at least it does something. And it's, it's, it's kind of cool. And, of course, I do have my Holy Shock Aura as well. Which probably isn't doing shit for damage. Uh, but what it does do is it adds a lot of lightning damage to the bow. So here's the ticks. The ticks are very, uh, just very little damage. Uh, the ticks of Holy Shock don't count for much. But as you can see here, my multi-shot with the Holy Shock synergized with the Lightning Mastery is doing six, uh, 768 to 6,755 damage. So it's, it's, it's rather acceptable, I would say. And let's see how well something like this fares. Oh my god! Is that a unique? It's a unique ring. It's a unique ring right in the Cold Plain Cell. Maddled Heal! I should have known. Uh, in my recent slam fast, someone pointed out how every single ring that we pretty much identified turned into a Maddled Heal, unfortunately. But... 
Nonetheless, let me know what your thoughts are on this bull. Uh, my last video, I had one that sort of embodied a ranger Amazon with a bunch of pets. She had dire wolves, spirit wolves, a grizzly bear, even was able to cast ravens. So it was a pretty epic bull. But maybe that was too much. I don't know. So, I mean, this one, as you can see, it's kind of ass still. This is player's one difficulty, all right? And, of course, I could put a Sunder Charm on this character, but I haven't yet. But the rest of her gear is kind of basic. An Andariel's Visage with nothing in the socket for style points. A High Lord's Wrath Amulet. Enigma, because I want to have Teleport on this character. War Travelers, primarily because of the damage boost that you get. Uh, it helps a little bit. Not so much with this build, because this is primarily lightning damage. Then I have a Raven Prost, a Nos Coil Belt, a Mantled Hole Ring, and a Laying of Hands Gloves. And I do have a Torch and Annie. So, nothing all that crazy. And this is just a multi-shot build, where I have multi-shot and it's single uh, synergy maxed out. And nothing else. So, let's head to the Chaos Sanctuary. Or better yet, let's go to the Cow level and see how well this performs. So oh, don't look at that Tyrael's Might. It's a bit of a it's a bit of a hacky hacky one uh, that I used in a previous video. It, a godly Tyrael's Might. Uh, I actually made it good, so uh, yeah, if you want to check out that video, uh, by all means, it's just a few videos ago. But yeah, let, let's go to the cow level and let's see how well this bow performs on players one difficulty against that meat. So Obviously, the bow is called Storm Strike, so I wanted it to embody storms and shit. Uh, that's why I have it with the Thunderstorm uh, ability, and that lasts for 1300 seconds, so it lasts a pretty damn long time. And of course, the Holy Shock and the Lightning Mastery. But uh, something I think should be added to a bow like this is probably Nova on Striking. Even a 100% chance to cast level 10 Nova or something on Striking, synergized with the 20 to Lightning Mastery, would just be a pretty cool effect. Uh, maybe even a, a sort of a Frost Bow even with Frost Nova would be even cooler as far as I see it. But let's see how well it fares against these cows. Oh my god! Oh, this is good. Yeah, that is pretty damn good. I mean, it's not... It's not amazing, but just for what it is... It's pretty good. Like, even still... I think that a Faith physical build would perform better than this anyway. Uh, which it probably should. I mean, maybe I did beep this thing up just a bit. And of course, it, it shines against non-light immunes. Because a lot of your damage is lightning here. Uh, and if I had a Sunder Charm, they would still be 95% lightning resistant. Um, that's where your pierce from gear and facets would come into play. Even a Gryphon's Eye, uh, for example. But uh, without things like that, of course, it would really suck. Because it has a very low physical damage. But let's see how well this performs in the Chaos Sanctuary. And let me know in the comments, what changes would you make to this bow? Do you think it's too powerful? Uh, did I make it just a tidbit too powerful? Or is it not powerful enough? I mean, I'm guessing it would be complete ass on Player's 8. In fact, let's try it right now on Player's 8 difficulty in the cow level. And the cows tend to have a lot of HP, so let me get a few screens away here. So here now are some players eight cows, and yeah, it's taking like, like twenty hits per cow to kill them. Yeah, so not too impressive. So I'm gonna turn it back down to players one difficulty, and we'll run the chaos sanctuary, and see how well it fares there. But first off, I do want to identify these rimhide. Boots. Or is it Wormhide? I'm, I'm not sure how to say it. Let me know in the comments below. Uh, check that out. They are ethereal. So, pretty cool look to them. 14% chance to cast level 5 Nova when struck. Oh, and that would be awesome because um, my Nova is going to be synergized by the Lightning Mastery. So, we'll just keep this on for just a minute. So, I'm turning the players uh, back down to players 1. And let's try this in... The Chaos Sanctuary. 
So here I am on the way to the Cow Sanctuary. Decent amount of damage. My mercenary is wielding faith. So I have a pretty good attack rating here. Uh, she has a faith great bow. In fact, let's experiment a little bit. Here, let's see what my damage is with the faith. Of course, it's in a great bow, so it's horrible. So there's the damage with the faith bow on. Pretty bad. Uh, of course, this build isn't centered around physical damage. So now let's try it with this new bow, Storm Strike. It's better. Um, it's significantly better. So yeah, ideally, what you'd probably want in order to keep balance uh, as a thing... You'd probably want to only have, like, plus five into Lightning Mastery on this. Uh, you could keep the Thunderstorm the same, because the Thunderstorm isn't all that helpful in reality. But I probably need to uh, cut down on the Lightning Mastery. Uh, maybe not even give it the 350% enhanced damage. Uh, I'd probably want to have a little less than that. And here's Light Immunes, but fortunately these uh, Wraiths don't have much HP, so I can still kill them anyway. Uh, with the little physical damage that I do. So imagine a cold bow. Uh, I can't think quite if there's a... Unique. Oh, there's, uh, what's that thing called? The, uh, the cold long battle bow that gives cold pierce to it. I'm gonna mess around with that a little bit. Maybe have it cast Frost Nova on striking. Uh, maybe have it cast Blizzard or Frozen Orb on striking. Uh, things like that. Give it, like, uh, Shiver Armor or something like that. So that would be a pretty cool bow. And I'm going to try not to make it. Too powerful. I think this one's a bit too powerful. But yeah, I will mess around with that build. Uh, is it called Cold Kill or something? I can't I can't remember what it's called. Uh, it's just a normal mode, unique, long battle bow, I believe. And it has Cold Pierce. So, you can make something like that and, uh... Like, use Freezing Arrow and things like that. Let's see how well this kills Satan. I'm going to uh, Guided Arrow him. And my Guided Arrow right now is doing about 9,143 max damage. There's Nacho Libre. Nacho Libre! Alright, we'll see how this fares against Satan. And in fact, let me give the mercenary herbo back. That wasn't very nice. Take that away like I did. Oh! Alright, there you have it. So, yeah, I mean, even though I didn't perform that well with it, this character still isn't minted maxed out. I don't have a single charm outside of a torch and Annie. So, and I don't have a Sunder charm. Uh, with that being said, it's probably a bit too powerful. But I'm curious what you guys have to say about that. 
But yeah, what if there were some sort of thematic items that were added into the game that were actually useful? Uh, just kind of uh, broadening the spectrum of items that endgame we would consider using. Uh, again, this one's a bit too powerful. I think I would probably have it give plus five to Lightning Mastery. And uh, it's going to kind of suck at that point, but still, uh, it wouldn't be horrible. And I'd like to see how it would fare in that case. But, uh, yeah, just uh, a bow that I decided to make. So, like this video if you guys will, if you think that this is a good idea to maybe toss out some ideas of what they could do differently with some of the items in Diablo 2. Uh, let me know in the comments if anything comes to your mind in terms of what changes should be made to certain items. Uh, I wish they would give us the ability to slam items like what we get in PD2. So, I might just have to go back to playing that. But, uh, I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Peace be with you.